Hi folks, welcome back to the technical drawing series. I know that it's been a while since I tackled anything related to technical drawings, but hopefully we are back back on track to turn out more content relating to technical drawings and other things relating to engineering and product design. So for us to tackle construction of triangles, we're going to go through three exercises, which are as follow. So for exercise one, we're going to learn how to construct an equilateral triangle. So that is the triangle with all sides equal, if given the base AB at 100 millimeters. So let's give this a go. Hi folks. So we're going to tackle exercise one, where we are required to construct an equilateral triangle of base AB 100 millimeters. So we know, or you know, generally, that an equilateral triangle is a triangle that has all sides equal. So that's more or less objective, meaning that the sum of the triangle, as usual, we go to 180, but this means that for each corner of the triangle, each vector of the triangle, the triangle have an angle of 60 degrees. So that's basically um, the focal point for this particular exercise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first off sort out the base. Um, so I've made a decision that moving forward, I'm not going to be using uh, pencils because I think sometimes in the recording, it doesn't really make the construction like that visible. So I'm going to be using the pen, but I'm more or less going to vary the pressure to differentiate between construction lines and outlines. So let's start off by drawing the base. So I'm going to draw a ray like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pair of compasses to open to 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters, like so, as the structure in the exercise. So I'm going to stand at one point on the line, scribe and cut. And I'm going to stand at where I've scribed. And I'm going to cut on the line. And these demarcations will more or less give us our point A and B. So I'm going to use the T square to firm out the base of the triangle, like so. Sorry about that. So, okay. So that is our length AB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide or state the dimension for that. So dimension is something that we're going to be doing down the line. So keep an eye out for this space. So as I said in the previous exercise, always allow at least 10 millimeters away from the outline. Yeah. So I'm going to do like so. And the next step will be to provide the arrowheads for the dimension. So I like to do my like so. And I'm going to do likewise there. So ideally we want the arrowheads to be more of the same distance. Like so. And I'm going to write dimension. So that is a hundred millimeters. Right. So for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to show three ways of constructing an equilateral triangle. Now, the obvious one would be to use a protractor, you know, stand at each corner, measure 60 degrees, strike, strike where the intercept will give you the third corner for the rectangle. But I'm not going to do that. So the first technique I'm going to show is a very easy and quick one, is to use the 60 60, 30 degree set square, okay? So since each corner measures 60 degrees, I'm going to use the 60 degree side of the set square. I'm going to use that. Stand at A, like so. And then from A, project 
array, like so. All right. Then I'm going to flip the set square. Okay, so we can flip it this way. Stand that B. And draw another way, like so. So where the two rays intersect, that will give us our C. And all I have to do now is to firm out the triangle by using outlines. Okay. Like so. And like so. And there we have it. So we've more or less used set square to construct an equilateral triangle. So what do we do? So the next part is to verify that all lengths are 100 millimeters. So look at that, 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters, bang on. And I do likewise here, and I should more or less get the same result. So 100 millimeters, bang on. And again, you get your protractor, double check that the angle equates to equates to uh, 60 degrees so let's see that is bang on 60 degrees as shown All right and we do likewise here and that is bang on 60 degrees like so so the next step i'm going to do is i'm just going to complete dimension so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a pair of compasses And I'm going to provide our angular dimension like so. So what I'm going to do is create the arrow head. Like so, do likewise there. Uh, and it's always been my thing using a protractor in more or less doing my arrowheads when it comes to angle. So again, I can just state 60 degrees like so. Now I don't need to dimension both sides. Okay, I'll just dimension one side. So 90 degrees and the dimension will be parallel to the side of the triangle like so. All right. So again, normal I'll just gauge and shift but again for the purposes of what we're doing i'm just going to get my compass same distance is more or less done for the base scribe an arc and then what i'll do is align the set square to the edge like so and then draw a line parallel to the side like so. And then we proceed to do the arrowhead. And I'll do like this here. Okay, and then that is 100 millimeters. Like so. And there we have it. So we've done one way. Now I'm going to show you another technique. So in the event of not using set squares, we can use a compass. So we're going to use the compass. So I'm bringing back my P square. And what I'm going to do is, I've already done the ray over here. So I'm just going to use the same measurement. So 100 millimeters. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on the ray, scribe, like so. Again, just to double check that everything is being projected accordingly for it to cut. So I'm just extending that so that now cuts. And I'm going to stand at the other end of our arc, scribe, to give us our points A. MB. 
So the next part is to firm the line out. So again, this is another simple technique. Like so. Okay. So the next part is to now construct our triangle. So this is what I'm going to do. So again, double check that your compass is open to 100 millimeters. I'm going to stand at B, open to A, and I'm going to scribe an arc like so. Stand at B, A, sorry, open to B, same distance. If you're not sure or if your compass is a bit wobbly, it might be worth tightening up and double checking that it's actually calibrated to or open up to 100. Subscribe and draw another arc where the two arcs intersect. That'll give us our apex of the triangle. So the other corner C. And the next part is to simply join C to A, like so, and C to B, like so. Okay, easy peasy. So the next part, verifying that our triangle is actually, so let's see what we have here. So 17 to 27, so look at that. So that's basically our 10 millimeters. And we do likewise here, 17 to 27, same thing. Again, you can verify by using your compass. So 60 degrees as shown. And if I do likewise in other corner, um, our equilateral triangle. So that will be the complementary video that follows this one. <laughs>